Dr. John Tantrillo is a branding and marketing uh, consultant for radio. And uh, he has written in this morning's edition of Talkers.com concerning the situation that Rush Limbaugh finds himself in with almost everyone wanting his ass off the air, which, by the way, has been going on for the last 15 years. Um, I still haven't figured out a way to get rid of him. But it is starting to hurt the entire spectrum of talk radio. Dr. Tantrillo And I won't go into the whole thing. All you have to do is go to this morning's, uh, the the, uh, May 20th edition of Talkers.com. It's the lead story. And simply go into that and and just read that. And basically what it will say is more or less tone it down. Become bland, Rush. Don't stand out. Now people will say that you've, that you've sold out. Bull hockey. They don't matter. Your 14 million listeners don't matter. Tone it down. People will still listen to you because you're rushing anyway. Tone it down. Now, I'm supposed to be as a car-carrying tree hugger. Um, that's not strong enough. It should be. It should be sort of like along the lines of grab a shotgun, put it to your head, and pull the trigger. But I'm not like that. I'm, I'm one of those strange people who still be, who still believes in the arcane notion of free speech. This message really is for all of my liberal friends who really want Rush gone. You stupid motherfuckers. Don't you understand what you're doing to yourselves? We're trying, you know, we're, we're sweating bullets here trying to figure out how to save progressive radio. And we have come to the point, that point of we need to save this. We need to save it. This Rush Limbaugh thing ain't helping. And unfortunately, when I talk to many people who are on the the left who want to get rid of Rush Limbaugh but at the same time want to uh, want, want to uh, keep progressive radio going get progressive radio you know to get, have a more firmer foothold in the national radio discussion uh, want to keep radio stations from uh, from switching the format from progressive talk to, say, sports or comedy or even some foreign language. I said at the beginning that, you know, what you're doing, you're, 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 you're basically not just killing Rush, you're killing yourselves. Because many of the same advertisers that are on Rush Limbaugh's program and on Glenn Beck's program, and Sean Hattie's program, and uh, Mark Levin's program. Now, that's a guy who should leave the air. All those people who advertise on those shows also advertise on Bill Press, Stephanie Miller, Ed Schultz, Randy Rhodes, Norman Goldman, Tom Hartman, all those guys advertise on those shows as well. And they're going to take a look at this and say, you know, if I'm going to get grief about what Rush says, what happens when 
conservatives start getting grief about what Stephanie Miller says. When Stephanie Miller calls somebody a slut, actually she doesn't, she has a Trump that does that, but the bottom line is this. And by the way, that drop-in sort of like disappeared when all this happened. Have you noticed? She doesn't play the, you're a slut, you're a slut, drop-in as much. Wonder why. Bottom line is, you get, take Rush, Rush out, it becomes a cancer that, that basically uh, travels through the capillaries of the cells, that hits progressive radio, which really doesn't need any, any more problems. And when a advertiser says, we're just going to pull a plug from all of it. Then you've killed progressive radio. And then you've really, you know, you, you, you've really defeated your own purpose. By going after Rush Limbaugh the way we've gone after Rush Limbaugh, we're killing ourselves. But when I talk to other people, they, they don't care. They don't care if the village burns just to get one village idiot. It's kind of like when on Once Upon a Time, the evil queen destroyed a whole village just to get Snow White. Here's the bottom line. Snow White's still alive. <laughs> Duh. Snow White's still alive. You killed, you killed a whole bunch of you know, innocent bystanders, but Snow's still alive. You've killed progressive radio, and Rush will still be there. I have said this for many years. The reason, the, the thing that you, we, we as progressives need to do is stop bellyaching, stop whining to the FCC, stop you know putting guns to the heads of advertisers, and actually start buying radio stations. There's a radio station in Coos Bay, Oregon that runs nothing but progressive programming, KBBR. You can find it on, on, on the website, KBBR Radio. They run full ad breaks with local people, not national advertisers, and they're doing pretty well in Coos Bay, Oregon. We all think that you know we need to buy all, all these big radio stations. We don't have millions of dollars. No, you don't have millions of dollars. I don't have millions of dollars, but you've got two hundred. Somebody's got two hundred fifty thousand. Somebody's got a half a million. I'm sure there's somebody who has uh, in the, in their town who happens to be on the left of everything. Uh, maybe a, a million or two who could buy a radio station for a rather small amount. There are AM stations that are going for a dollar, a hundred dollars. There are FM stations that cost about as much as a house in Los Angeles. Now, of course, there's, there's the operational costs and stuff like that. You need to cover those, but the bottom line is this. Buying radio stations in smaller markets ain't that expensive. And you don't need to track down uh, Ron Howard to, to buy one. All you need is a, maybe a consortium of people who will buy these stations. But let's not stop there. When you buy these radio stations, the next thing you want to do is you want that a lot of people would like to do, they want to turn them into NPR. FNPR. Nobody listens to NPR. But they listen to Rush. Now we already have hosts who can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with Rush in terms of style and in some cases in terms of ratings. Don't make your radio stations sound like NPRs around them. Make them sound like the flamethrower you're trying to knock off. Buy billboards. Look, if the big guys don't want to uh, spend the money on billboards, fine, let them. You have the station, you have the budget, you buy the billboards and the bus benches 
and as much space as possible. Buy advertisements on local cable radio. You can, you know, we keep talking about, you know, think globally, act locally. This is the best way we can do this in terms of combating people like Rush Limbaugh, Glenn Beck, and Sean Hannity. Think globally, but act locally. Find a radio station, an AM station that's uh, not doing that well. Hey, hey, you know, you know that there are people on the left who will listen. It may not be the number one radio station in town, but you know there are people who will listen. And you'll also know there'll be people who will actually buy commercial space. Think globally, but act locally. Don't aim for the WLWs and the KFIs and the WABCs. Look for small opportunities, less expensive opportunities. And don't forget the power of the internet. Not just in streaming, but actually setting up your own station. I mean, there are opportunities out there to spread the word that won't bust the budget. But putting a gun to somebody's head that you will not advertise on Rush Limbaugh's program because she, he calls somebody a slut? Number one, that advertiser may be even more conservative than Rush. And number two, and most importantly, if they decide to pull it from there, they may pull it from all talk radio. And suddenly your um, progressive radio station will swap Ed Schultz for Jim Rome. Maybe your progressive station will stop running Stephanie Miller and start running little clips from comedians. Maybe your progressive radio station will stop airing Tom Hartman and start developing a Spanish accent or a Korean accent or an Iranian accent. Do you understand what I'm talking about? I have a phrase I've been using on, on the web. I think I might go ahead and, tra and, go ahead and uh, copyright it. It's called S2D2. S2D2. Stop doing stupid. Don't do stupid shit. Don't do stupid shit. And the way we, as progressives, have been going after people like Rush Limbaugh and, and uh, Glenn Beck, stupid shit. You want to know why? Let's assume your wet dream happens and Rush decides, I'm walking out of this. I'll go to Sirius. Radio doesn't, uh, doesn't run in a vacuum. There will be a replacement for Rush Limbaugh in five minutes. And all Clear Channel has to do is pick up a telephone and make a phone call to Dallas. Yo, Glenn, guess what? You get to sleep in on Monday. You're our new 12 to 3 Eastern Time talent. And also remember one other thing. Glenn Beck doesn't have to worry about you taking him off of uh, taking him off of Fox anymore. He now owns his own network, and the way things are, he, things are going, he could even start buying the radio stations. Glenn Beck is building his own revenge. Stop being stupid. Website is www.tinyurl.com slash uh, Radio Don. All of our Facebook and Twitter information is there if you can find it. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. And I hope this thing sticks. Bye.